Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're a regular to the world of game development news here on Game From Scratch, you probably no doubt know that the world of AI or machine learning is definitely becoming a thing uh, for programmers, for artists, and even today for musicians. In the last couple of months alone, we covered Cyber Voice, uh, which uses machine learning to create voices from existing samples. It was used in uh, a Witcher mod, for example, to make more of Geralt. Uh, his voice, uh, based to, you train the machine based off of uh, a bunch of voice data samples out there. Uh, we also took a look at the definitely flawed at launch, but heck of a lot of potential GitHub Copilot, which basically brings machine learning to the world of coding, where you can just type a comment and then it uses all of the data it's kind of learned from all the GitHub source code repositories it went over to create code for you. Now, it actually was lifting some GPL code, so it's not perfect to start, uh, but it does show that artificial intelligence and programming are definitely starting to come together. And we also looked at Art Breeder, which was allowed you to rapidly create prototype art. And it was actually, this is probably the most visually impressive of the machine learning based things I've seen out there. But this is really just scratching the surface. Every major tool out there is building machine learning into it to a certain degree. And then we've got even some uh, gaming is using uh, art machine learning to make super sampling work better, for example. And today we are looking at a music example. It is called, I have no idea how to pronounce this apparently it is a Dutch word for like a stanza from a song uh, but strofe is what I'm gonna go with and this is a new web-based tool we'll just go ahead no login required and what this allows you to do is create mu music it's been trained off of a giant data set of open source MIDI samples out there and it is super super simple to work with so basically what we start with is uh, select the kind of music you want to create so let's make some sad music and then we can customize our music pick the kind of uh, sound that we want to go with so let's do sad Sad Bossa Nova, and we'll go ahead and create it. And this kind of runs its own thing, uh, generates a song for you. So we'll give it a second. Um, their machines tend to be hit uh, pretty hard. They scale them up as needed. So here you can see this one is five acoustic grand pianos. That's not very diverse. So this is one example it gave. You can set the dominance of each individual instrument over here, and we can obviously switch out an instrument. Unfortunately, there is no cowbell. So I can't make more and more cowbell jokes because not an option, but let's throw an alto sax in there instead. We'll throw this one in as tubular bells, a glockenspiel, and a violin. All right, so it's going to do this in the theme of sad music. And let's see what it does. So you gotta let it regenerate. It does its own little thing here. And play. So same basic music, just completely different instrument set. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna create a completely different song now. So you can come on back here, let's do Spirited. So Spirited, again, we can customize. And here you got a choice between like orchestral pop, epic, or retro future. So these, these categories seem to be a little bit on the random side. So happy, we've got bossa nova, reggae, pop, retro future, epic, and orchestral. Chill, we've got jazz, bossa nova, reggae, lo-fi, and pop. Sad, we have, well, we already saw that. And then we've got spooky. Uh, so we'll go back again, Spirited, epic, create and it will generate the song so right now this by the way is free uh, to use so here we can see the results so it's using an orchestral harp a violin a cello string ensemble brass section trombone and standard drums and it gives us So again, let's say we wanted to emphasize the violin a little bit more. And let's change our trombone into a different drum. So let's do a steel drum in there. And our brass section, we would rather have a wood block. All right, so let that regenerate. Uh, we will increase the volume on that one a little bit because you can't really beat wood blocks except for with maybe cowbells. So let's see what that does. There you can see our wood block in, which I actually think really improved the saw. It's, you know, more wood block, definitely more wood block. By the way, if you want to go ahead and share this out, you can share it uh, as uh, a track, but I'm not actually logged in. So if you want to sign up, you can do so. You can log in using Facebook or Discord or your own email account if you wish. Uh, in terms of other details, not really a ton to go from. You can have a library of songs. So there's the, the ones I actually created. You 
want to get rid of a song, you can do so like this. You can click a song and go back to it at any particular time. And then of course you can download once you have actually logged in. Uh, in terms of download format right now, it's mid as in MIDI file format, but there are some details on where they're going with this service. Uh, right now it is free through the month of September. Uh, eventually this is going to be commercial. Uh, in terms of details about that, well, I discovered this guy from this Reddit post. Uh, so if you want to get into the discussion here, they're also going to be having a discussion on their Discord server. I will link to their Discord in the linked article down below. So if you want to jump into that, uh, I think it's on this week. Yeah, so uh, Discord server on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So yeah, basically shortly after I publish this video. So you want to get in and ask them some questions, uh, you can. Uh, their AI was trained on data set of 100% public domain MIDI files. Uh, you do get into, okay, well, what about copyright? Well, realistically, any song could sound similar enough to another song. Uh, artists have spontaneously created the same song over and over and over again. The world of music is pretty consistent, but you probably are fine. But when it comes to the world of music and copyright and all that stuff, <sighs> never, ever, ever uh, assume on the side of logic because it just doesn't work that way. Uh, so in terms of some actual details about it, uh, they're thinking about charging one to three songs for an one to three dollars for an individual song or a subscription in the five to 10 range where you could make unlimited songs. So if you're not musically inclined, this could actually be a good choice for uh, making music for your game or title. Uh, and then in terms of other details, um, you are able to download an MP3 and mid. You will. Uh, you'll be able to download an MP3 and mid file. Currently working on Og Vorbis as well. Um, so that's the the options out there for download. It's an interesting project for sure. Um, it, it's uh, easy to use. That that one is definitely the case. So if if you want to, ooh, that's not where I wanted to go. Where did you go, Strove? No ma. Here we go. Uh, super super simple. Again, creating a song. Literally just a matter of create a song. Pick a genre. Uh, pick a style that you wish to use. Let's do a chill pop song and then just go ahead and create it. And then, you know, if you don't like what they did, just basically do it again. You'll get a completely different, basically, seed song out of that. And then you can start tweaking the music, the emphasis of particular music. So this one's an English horn, a violin, a cello, electric grand piano, acoustic bass, and standard drums. And it sounds like the theme music for like a 70s sitcom. So uh, you get a pretty broad uh, variety of music styles out of this. You do get very different results. I do wish there was like a, a completely let's let's redo everything kind of thing here. Uh, so I could just basically say, nope, don't like this one. Give me another, but in the same uh, basic theme. Uh, that's the only thing that's kind of missing right now that I would really like to see. But it's an interesting project, and I'm curious to hear what you think of Strofe, Strof, Strofe. If you're Dutch and you know how to pronounce that word, let me know in the comments down below. I, I pronounce everything wrong, so I don't even try anymore. I'll go with Strofe for the rest of this video, which is exactly six seconds long. So, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.